Hello, this is CT1EIZ. Today I'm going to talk about uh, a very important tool uh, that you should have with your network radio. This not only fixes uh, some problems with the TeamSpeak 3 latest version where uh, the audio uh, volume control is a complete mess for uh, the TeamSpeak 3 and Zello um, and you have lots of problems uh, using the volume control but also allows you to uh, program uh, the behavior of your keyboard and other hardware buttons. Uh, for example, if I want to go to TeamSpeak 3, I just long press 1 and it starts TeamSpeak uh, 3. Or if I long press 2, it goes to Zello um, and things like that. Okay, and I have programmed the home button to be this one, the camera button here you see it goes to the home button I don't use the camera on this radio and I also have programmed let's go back to Zello and if I long press home button I go to the task manager like this so I can just stop all the apps here like this okay so there's one app that I think it's mandatory everybody should have and this is button mapper and I have purchased the Pro version. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it's like $3 or something. It's very cheap. And I always like to um, support software developers. So I'm not that kind of guy who likes to have apps running ads because I think, uh, you know, we should help them. And that's their job. And they do very useful apps. So I, I purchased the Button Mapper Pro, and when you purchase the Pro, there is a new function here that is called Default to Media Volume, okay? And I switch it to On. And the reason I have it is because, you know, different apps use different streams for, for audio, okay? Even on TeamSpeak here, if you go to TeamSpeak, you know, you can uh, you can uh, decide. Let me log in here with my T three twenty. You can decide which uh, audio stream you're going to use. Okay, and here if you go, okay. Let me go to the settings. Here, audio settings. You see here. You have. The playback can be either using the voice call or the music profile, okay? And depending on the radio, the hardware button here can be uh, used to control either music or the voice uh, profile, okay? So what, what this function of the, the button mapper does here, that I just show, oh sorry, that I just have shown you before, it will automatically change uh, and map the the button here, the volume button, to the, the to the correct uh, profile or to the correct stream of the app you are using. So you can use any stream you like, either the music or voice, and the vo the the button will work. Okay. So if I go to Zello, see, I'm using this one here. And in this particular case, I have TeamSpeak working also with the same profile. So it will still change the music. You see this note here. Okay. So as you can see, I have the latest TeamSpeak 3 uh, version. And the volume control works very, very well. Okay, and I encourage you once again to take the button mapper pro version because then you can even control more things that you're not able to do with the regular version and paid version. Okay, and this one here you need to have the pro. Okay, guys, thank you very much and enjoy network radios. Bye bye.